Welcome back friends. We are in the home stretch of our 22 ammo shootout here with our Ruger 1022. We got some old players back, we got some new ones. Some people requested we shoot some different types of ammo and here's one of them, the RWS rifle match and also the Ely Telex at $20.99 a box by the way. We're also gonna have Remington 22 Target, Lapua Center X, some more Ely. This is the Force that's made for semi-automatics. Ely Target that did pretty well before. CCI Standard Velocity and CCI Green Tag. And for the old four boys, the Federal Auto Match. As you can tell, we've gone indoors. We've had some rain and uh, just not able to get outside. But we got a 50 yard range here indoors. We have the whole phase to ourselves right now, but we do have some goofballs next door just rapid firing their butts off. So I'm gonna try and get this in and talk to you uh, over the gunfire. So let's get going with it. Well, just uh, here's our preliminary findings here. It looks like the CCI standard velocity and the green tag shot pretty close. Uh, when we get home we'll get these things marked up but uh, that looks pretty good. The Ely Force, the one that's for uh, semi-automatics, that looked looks pretty good. Ely Target, uh, a little wider there. The Lapua Center X, as expected that should shoot well. Uh, look at the RWS rifle match down at the bottom. That's a five shot group. Looks pretty good. Uh, Federal Auto Match for us poor boys, that's going to still be the bulk ammo of choice, I think. Remington 22 Target, no reason to test that anymore, it just doesn't uh, work all that well. But Ely Telex, they're the uh, right hand middle target. I'm not sure if it performed any better than the other two Ely's at a fraction of the price, but we'll get them scored up and we'll see what they look like. Well, we had a good visit to the range there, spent a lot of time working with these different ammos. After running about 10 fouling shots down range with some CCI standard velocity, we went ahead and started our test. And in first place was the RWS rifle match. We hadn't shot this before. Twelve ninety nine a box, uh, a really nice grouping. Point two one nine. Uh, probably be shooting some more of this. We'll just have to see. Number two, no surprise here. CCI standard velocity. We got a point two 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 group, and this stuff is three dollars and forty nine cents a box. Number three went to the Ely Force. Remember, this is the one that's all black, uh, supposedly designed for semi-automatics. Runs $8.99 a box, and we got a point two three two. You can tell all these groupings are, you know, everything's getting tighter. We're getting closer as to what shoots best through this rifle. Uh, we didn't have any flyers out, out here or anything. Everything is kind of nice and tight. Um, shoots good in the 1022. Don't know what it'll do in a bolt gun but it's $8.99 a box. And then our fourth place guy was a CCI green tag. I mean, the grouping's still good, .260, but are you gonna spend $8.99 a box when you can get this for $3.49? I don't know. You can buy this just about everywhere. None of my gun stores carry this. I have to get this uh, like from Midway or somebody. Number five, and a disappointment to me, was the Lapua Center X. $12.99 a box, .368. I mean, there's nothing to be ashamed of with that grouping right there. I was just expecting a little bit more. You see this ammo, I see this ammo more on different competitions than probably any other with the exception of maybe this um, Ely 10X. But uh, in a lot of competitions where they're shooting multiple range targets, you know, 25, 50, 75, and 100 yards, from different positions, I see this more than anything. But I also see those in you typically bolt guns in high end 22s. There's not a, I don't recall seeing a 1022 out there with a 16 half inch barrel in one of those competitions. I could be wrong. The other surprise to me was 
the Ely 10X, our most expensive ammo at $20.99 a box. Um, Ventress guys and, and target shooters, precision target shooters, this is the ammo that I see more than anything. My first shot was right there, and I'm going, man, this is going to be pretty nice. And then I got four right in a row there. 0 0.416, this is not a uh, embarrassing group by, by any means, but I guess I was expecting, you know, uh, the skies to part and and God shine down on us and, and put five shots right there in the center just because of the ammo. But, of course, you have to take the shooter and the, and the gun into consideration as well. Nothing wrong with this grouping. I was just thinking it was going to be a little higher up, higher up the ladder there. In seventh, poor boy special, FedEx, auto match, bulk ammo. I forgot the price. I just know it's cheap. And we got a .525 grouping out of that. I didn't even bother to the Remington 22 target. You can see what it is, 449 a box. What you know, we just won't look at that anymore. The one thing about uh, one of these ammos here, these were all lead round nose with the exception of this one and this is a flat nose round. All of the ones that scored high were anywhere from 1075 to, let me see, yeah, this one's 1082 feet per second. Of course these are 1070 and our number two, where's our number two? I can't even see. That was number two. Number three, uh, the Ely Force, I think it's 1085. So all the ones that uh, in our top three were between 1,050 and 1,080 feet per second. So you can see how those things are flying. So that's the results. You can see how the groups have tightened here as we've kind of honed in on what works good in our 1022 with a little 16 and a half inch barrel. Your mileage may vary but that's what it's done for us today on this range. So if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to put them down below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. That helps us continue to pay uh, for this ammo and let us continue to do these tests. So until next time, you guys be safe, keep the muzzle pointed downrange, and we hope to see you out on the range. Adios.